Hello, my name is Charlotte. I am a perfusion assistant. You know what? Just welcome to this channel. I am in no way, shape, or form. You know those channels that you wake up and watch, and it's like they wake up at 5 a.m., go to the gym, but not before they have their living water at 5:15. Like you know, you know what I'm saying. Not this channel. <laughs> not this channel. That could not be me. That lifestyle does not work for me. That's their life. They can do whatever they want. This is my life and I can do whatever I want. Um, but I'm just letting you know that this is not really going to be like an aesthetic uh, channel. Okay, I am making this channel because... There is nothing online about day in the life of perfusionists, the perfusion careers. I would like to be kind of that educational hub, the resource for all things perfusion because there's just simply nothing out there and it's an amazing career. I really want to make this video brief um, because I don't want it to be overwhelming slash I don't want it to get messy. I have a lot of things that I could talk about. I kind of prefer if they were more audience directed. So if you are watching this because you're interested in perfusion um, careers, feel free to leave a comment. If you're not interested in a perfusion career, leave a comment also. Um, I don't know everything about perfusion at all, um, but I work with the best perfusionists ever, um, and they are more than willing to help. Um, so if I don't know an answer, I will find it out, uh, and I will get back to you. And I will also, like, I will mention that it's from them, like, their answer. I'm not going to pretend like I know everything. Um, the light just turned. Good night. Uh, a little bit of background from, like, me. Uh, I, like I said before, my name is Charlotte. I am a perfusion assistant slash autotransfusionist. I went to undergrad in 2014, um, just, you know, straight out of high school. And I went there for three years. I thought that I wanted to be a doctor. Um, I have always been interested in surgery. There was a point where I really, really, really wanted to be a pathologist um, with like autopsies and all that stuff. I was really confused. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I kind of felt like I was being rushed because I was only 20, right? And you're expected to take the MCAT to figure out what you want to do essentially the rest of your life. Extremely difficult to change and, you know, or to veer from. And you have, like, an immense amount of debt, which, you know, is definitely not a reason not to go to med school. Um, this looks like my boss. Is this my boss? I'm 99% sure. <laughs> I'm 99% sure that was my boss. Okay. Alrighty. Well, see you later. Um, I need over these. You are so kind, and you are. Oh, you went over too. <laughs> I was an EMT. Loved it. But whenever I realized I didn't want to go to med school, you know, I was just kind of like, man, I need, I don't know what else is out there besides like nursing, <clears throat> physical therapy, 
none of my family was in medicine. So I ended up leaving college uh, first semester of my senior year. I ended up getting a job at the Mayo Clinic, which was a few, I had to move out of state for that. I went to college out of state, so I'm just, I'm also, I move all the time. It's just a part of, I guess, my lifestyle. I don't know if it was just like, it's in our blood. My dad moves all the time. It wasn't a big deal for me to move. Um, that's so funny that my boss drove right, right by as I'm filming this. Um, but I w ended up moving there as a nurse tech. I worked full time and <clears throat> I got exposed to so many different healthcare careers, even careers that aren't even like uh, common throughout the whole U.S. I got exposed to. So I have been able to kind of weed out certain things that I do want in a job, don't want in a job, do want in a career, don't want in like a, a lifetime career, not just like the job like benefits, but like a career is in like what I want to study, what I want, like the demographic of people I want to work with, the type of work I want to do. Do I want to be in a lab? Do I want to be in an operating room? Do I want to be on some type of floor, like dealing with patients directly? So I got to experience that um, and it was really, it was the best thing that I have ever done in my life. I feel just a lot more knowledgeable. I got floated to the CVICU, um, which is the Cardiovascular Intensive Care Unit. I literally, when I found out about perfusion, I just graduated in April of 2021. Okay, so if you are interested in a perfusion career, I highly suggest that you explore the uh, Reddit page the perfusion reddit page um i was on there because i had heard of a perfusion assistant job a girl who i actually ended up taking her job because she got into school um so i ended up moving to colorado and taking her perfusion assistant job that's all i want to say this video is long I did not want it to be long, but here we are. I'm so sorry if it felt like I was rambling. I was not trying to ramble. I just kind of want to get brief and basic information out there. Um, and I can definitely go more into detail about what we do um, or anything really. I don't know. Just let me know because I can make it better. I just. I've tried to make this introduction video and I have had no idea how to go about that. But I feel like this is the one that I'm gonna upload, which is perfect because I've been trying for like a week now. Um, so, yeah. That being said, I'm gonna peace out and I will see you guys later. I hope you have a great day. This lady just arrived in front of me, so now I feel a little awkward. Alrighty, peace out. <laughs>